skews the product of the integers from 1 to 30. So it's just 30 factorial. Okay. 30 factorial. Product of all the integers 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. It's just 30 factorial. Okay. So the greatest integer k for which 3 to the k is a factor of p. So it's important to put this in our own words. Greatest integer k for which 3 to the k is a factor of p, which is 30 factorial. So 30 factorial. 3 to the what goes into it? And it wants the maximum possible value of k. So it's asking how many 3s are in k? How many 3s are, sorry, are in, in 30 factorial? Which is p. Okay, if something's divisible by 3 to the 10, it has 10 3s in it, you know, or more. So this is asking how many 3s? Well, where do we get 3s? From every multiple of 3, right? So how many multiples of 3? The range, divide, round down if necessary, because we're starting at 1. 10 multiples of 3. Now that's not it though, because what about 9? 9 is, is, is 3 squared. Okay, this, this is basically two 3's in 9. I've counted 9 already in, in this math, but, but uh, you need to count it again. 9 and, and also 18. Every multiple of 9 has another 3 in it. So how many multiples of 9? 3. That's 9, 18, 27. I get another one from 9, another one from 18, another one from 27. So that's 3 more. Now I need to keep going up the chain of powers because 27 is 3 to the third. It has a third 3 in it. So I have how many 27s? Well, 1. And so now I've gotten all the additional 3s from all the powers. That's 14 3s. 